I have four sisters. The youngest, Brittany, just turned 14. Every morning, she applies makeup and straightens her hair for school. As her big sister, this worries me. But what worries me even more is that I'm 21, and a lot like Brittany. I constantly think about and am reminded of my appearance, of what I don't like, especially my eyes. I've thought about my eyes for quite some time to the point where I considered eyelid surgery. It's not really about what it is that an outsider sees. It's often about what it is that you see. If there's something that I can fix, it's not up to me to judge how much it should bother you. The top area here. Okay, so is it actually the fullness? I talked to Lori, who got eyelid surgery after her high school graduation. Uh, my mom was actually pushing for it for a really long time. She would always say like, oh, you know, let me tape your eyelids, you know, when we're just sitting there having a conversation and just, just to see how it would look like. But so she never questioned when I said that I wanted to do it. She just kind of decided, you know what, okay, let's do it. So then she actually squeezed me into an appointment two days later, which was really crazy. Society makes a big deal about, oh, the first thing I notice about a person you hear is their eyes because the eyes are as cheesy as it is, window to a person's soul. And you very seldom ever hear someone say, oh, I like when they have small eyes. So I was like, oh, the big brown eyes or big blue eyes, big eyes kind of thing. I think if you decide to get eyelid surgery, that stems from insecurity. Almost every single model you'll see, their actors, they all have double eyelids. And even now the Asian actresses and models, they all got surgery and they all have double eyelids. So I spoke with Rosa, who spent a semester abroad in South Korea, where one out of 10 Koreans undergoes the knife. She adamantly opposes eyelid surgery. I don't know how much more I can emphasize. I am so bitter. I'm just like, please wake up. You guys are just beautiful the way you are. I don't understand why you guys have to be so superficial and feel so insecure, spend all that money on surgery and diet pills and like all that other like inconsequential, trivial things. And I, it just got me really upset. I totally understand the whole idea that, you know, you're born a certain way and you should stay a certain way because I thought that before too, but um, I guess it's just a different way to look at things. When there's something that you have to look at or deal with every day that makes you feel uncomfortable and requires that you put it out of your mind in order to go forward and do what you need to do during the day, that that's a becomes a distraction that uses some of your some of your energy some of your mental energy both recognizing it and then pushing it out of the way that if it can be fixed it's a good thing to do if it's Asian getting double eyelid surgery I think the common underlying assumption is oh you want to be more white you want to have white eyes kind of thing so I do think that they do get judged for it I think a lot of I mean I have to admit sometimes I try to like certain stereotypes pop up in my mind of so who would get plastic surgery? I would just think, oh, maybe someone who's vain, who's very into looks, insecure. But I try to fight those stereotypes because I know that there's a lot more than just that one single dimension. I've never, I've never thought about that. I mean, I, I don't think that any of the, the people I grew up with felt any less Jewish by having done their noses. Um, and certainly my, my friend who is both Jewish and Persian didn't feel any less of either. Um, but surely it has something to do with a, a desire to kind of fit in to what is considered uh, beautiful and that or attractive. And that's very cultural. But I don't think that it's abandoning your culture as much as trying to fit in into the environment in which you're living. I've been exposed to it for a while. My mom actually got it done. My aunt got it done. and like. Everyone from my dad's side of the family basically got their eyelids done too. Getting the eyelid surgery is not considered um, a surgery anymore. It's like almost like a rite of passage. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, all girls get it. Yeah. yeah, and so if you don't get it, you're the weird one. There, there was about three or four girls who got it done before the senior dance. That was pretty intense, I thought, because um, when, after you get it done, your eyes are pretty beat up, they look kind of purplish, and they are willing to do that and look like that throughout school. 
just for the senior dance, just to get it done by the time we have our senior dance. So. I talked to my friends Kathy and Audrey and learned how they deal with their insecurities and build self-confidence. I kind of just make a promise to myself to, um, to talk about it more. Once you start talking about these insecurities, then they're just like everyday things and then they're not really a big scary thing anymore. And just by understanding myself a lot more, I felt more confident. Everybody gets embarrassed and everyone gets insecure. What do you see when you look in the mirror? I don't know. Um, I see the same person, you know. I still feel like I'm the same, you know, Lori before the surgery. I thought it was really weird because I just thought, you know, you're given this certain look and this certain body when you're born and so for you to change something I just thought that was really wrong but I mean in the end you kind of realize that a lot of people do it and it's like something that's not talked about all the time. So currently my eyes look like the ones on the left. If I was to get eyelid surgery they would look more like the ones on the right particularly the fourth one down because I'm also Chinese and Vietnamese. But I wouldn't get eyelid surgery because I'm too scared and for so many other reasons. Mainly because I like my eyes. They're part of me. They make me who I am and they're also really quirky. I mean, right now I'm really tired and so actually one is developing a crease. It's, it stinks we have to have these debates between getting eyelid surgery and not getting eyelid surgery. I mean, there are so many more important things going on in the world. But at the same time, I'm glad I had this debate. If not for me, for my sisters and everyone else. After meeting with Dr. Lee, Lori, Kathy, Rosa, and Audrey, I have to say, I feel better about my eyes. It's fascinating because we use our eyes to see, to see others and ourselves. And seeing Brittany, I could tell her she's beautiful with or without makeup a million times. My wish is that she sees that for herself. <laughs>